Hello guys, um, I wanted to dedicate a full course or a full section of the course, let's say, to your CPA calculator, which is going to give you a great estimate and a great indication of the numbers and the return on investment on PPC campaigns that your company will run. Now just to remind you guys, PPC is paid per click. It's a way of paying Google and YouTube and all the other social media uh, channels that uh, allow advertisements to bring traffic to your website or to your post, okay? So we're going to go back to the analogy of uh, the, the wedding photographer who charges 1,000 euro per uh, wedding shoot. And we know that he spends around 20% on expenditure, leaving him a gross profit margin of 80%. All right. We also then come to website conversion rate, which is what we were speaking about in day two which is the Crow uh, conversion rate optimization and how well is your website designed and performing to actually convert visitors into leads, people that fill in the forms and take the next step and perform the call to action. And what we're gonna put down is 1.5. Now you may not have historical data, but 1.5 is a actually a pretty high number, um, especially if it's your first time creating a website. Um, but We'll leave that as a placeholder and allow you guys to play with that number as you feel necessary. A lead conversion rate is the amount of people that filled in a form and then have actually turned into paying customers through our sales cycle. So we said it was one in four. So one in four people came to our website, or sorry, one in four people filled out a form and out of them four people, one decided to actually pay us money and take our product or service. And then down here, these numbers shouldn't be changed by you, but they give you a worst case scenario on how much you would have to spend on um, marketing, stuff like that. So if we go down here, your maximum cost per acquisition, if you remember our target cost per acquisition was 400 euro for sales and 100 euro for leads um, in day one, but this is your maximum amount you could possibly spend on a, uh, lead or sorry on a sale and remain break even or um or profitable all right or break even in this case let's say so if we if we use your conversion rate okay and your conversion uh and your lead conversion so your website conversion and your lead conversion if you remember on the funnel that we spoke about people coming into the website converting to a lead and then people converting to a paying customer you would need to generate 270 clicks roughly or 270 visitors onto your website to hit the goal of um breaking even with your marketing campaign all right so it's like the worst case scenario for for you guys all right so the maximum you can spend per person clicking on an ad is three euro okay and the maximum they could and the maximum you could spend on, on actually converting them people into being a customer is 200 euro per um, conversion so it's very understand it's very important to understand them metrics and then um, play around with them and understand that funnel that we went through earlier All right so what i'm going to quickly do is i'm going to pull up that funnel and explain to you how you identify the bottlenecks in that funnel so i'm going to quickly jump back on to the computer and this is the funnel that we spoke about earlier all right so if we jump on to the spreadsheet your website conversion rate the one that's asking you for 1.5 here is your crow all right is let me just is this section here all right and then your lead conversion rate is this one here okay so if we jump back onto the um, spreadsheet i'm going to quickly show you what i spoke about when it comes to bottlenecks in your funnel so imagine if we had a website that was not done very well, all right? And the conversion rates were extremely bad. They were 0.5%, a full 1% uh, less than we hoped for. We would then need 800 people to come to our website to get that one sale. And out of that, we would only be able to spend one euro per person, which would severely hamper our marketing efforts on all sides. So it's very important that when you're creating your business and you're creating this funnel, that you focus and you make sure that you understand the conversions between each step so that you don't over focus on one section make it great but then realize that another section is um 
breaking the funnel in the sense that it's bot it's it's capping the amount of achievements you can get from another place all right so if your website's not good it doesn't matter how much money you spend on advertisement you'll get very low website conversions which will entail you'll have to spend more money on marketing which will make your marketing campaigns worse and the whole funnel will cease because you have that one bottleneck that's why it's important to understand your funnel and understand the metrics behind your ppc campaigns now everything here below does not need to be changed it's automatically calculated and like always the templates in the description and on the educational .e course but i hope that with all the information that we've given that we've went through so far that this will be quite easy to understand and it'll be quite easy to play around with and you'll be able to get a very good idea of what type of marketing spend would be per um per conversion so uh, thanks for taking it and the next course that we're going to be doing is on irish specific resources to get you guys up and running like grants and microfinance and stuff like that some very interesting uh, topics in there that you guys need if you're starting up your business so we'll see you in the next course